Hello, people. So I'm <clears throat> back. It's been a few minutes. He's come out to the corner, and he just passed the the toy or the the back scrubber. I put a little bit of silver vine on the the bowl. I don't know if he's having any reaction to it though. I put it on the 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 plate under the bowl and a little bit on the corner of the bowl um, on the right corner. I, it seems like he's on the, le the left corner now, so, and I think he's more confused by the golf balls than the silver vine. Uh, how disappointing. Okay, he actually may be looking at the silver vine now. No, now he's going for the food. So I, yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, it's a little bit of a distance here. I'm zoomed in all the way. Uh, yeah, I think he ate something, but yeah, there's more in there. So I think he's afraid of the golf balls. <laughs> or, or he's like very, being very dainty with them. So. You know, all he has to do is just roll the golf balls around to, you know, move them out of the way so he can get the food. But, um, I don't know, he might be too skittish to even, you know, think about moving the golf ball. I was actually worried that, you know, um, when I put five golf balls in there, one of my concerns was he would uh, get frustrated, especially if I wasn't around, and he would just, like, you know, kick the bowl, knock it over, spill everything, and then eat the food. So I was expecting, uh, I was actually kind of expecting the worst, where he would just, um, uh, you know, use destruction to, you know, get what he wants. But, yeah, Scruffy's actually kind of a well, pretty well-behaved cat, so uh, just really skittish. Um, yeah, I'm... Very disappointed that yeah, our my attempts to befriend them so far are not going well. Uh, yeah, so hear that, Scruffy? Yeah, sorry. And, you know, so the silver vine's not working. Catnip's not working. Food's making you throw up. Yeah, you really hate that back scrubber. <sighs> Don't know what to tell you. Okay, so I think I am going to I think I'm going to sit in the chair next to the door. He'll back away for a while. I'm gonna take a golf ball out and see if it makes it easier for him to eat. Oh wait, let me see if he goes down one more time. Go on, Scruffy, eat. Okay, so I'm gonna get up. Okay, Scruffy, I'm coming. Okay, so here we are again. So I'm sitting in at the chair near the door inside, uh, hoping Scruffy is going to come back and try the golf balls. I pulled out one, so there are three now. So there should be enough space for him to eat now. But yeah, this golf ball thing is not working well, so. Uh, I might have to get one of those specialized slow feeder bowls. Um, so there's another $15, 20 down the drain. See, so you're eating me out of house and home, Scruffy. Costing me a bundle here. And you're not even my cat. That's not fair. Want the food?
Okay, I'm going to back up again, sit on the couch, because yeah, he's so skittish right now and probably so angry at me. I actually want to see how he handles three golf balls, and I don't want my closeness to the door to be a barrier at the moment, because I'm also getting impatient. So, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Okay, Scruffy, going to give you a little more space, but I'm still recording. So... So as I said, he's early tonight. It's about 8.45 right now, um, at least compared to last night um, and the night before, I think. So it's possible that he'll be hungry again around 11, so that means I need another two hours or so. So it's possible he might just leave and then... I have to hang around and see if he comes back for food. You know what? I probably should have put a piece of chicken in that bowl. So there's a piece, there's chicken in the, the bowl on the inside. I was saving that for round two. I basically just wanted him to eat a little bit in that first bowl get used to coming back, uh, get used to the golf balls, and then uh, and then I was going to give him round two. Okay, so... Okay, so he's kind of getting it with three golf balls. Fours... The problem is, yeah, with three golf balls, the... There's so much space that it may not actually slow him down. So the, the point of the golf balls is to slow him down from eating. And the other problem is because there's so little kibble now because the Costco stuff is so uh, calorie rich that there's not enough to you know, really kind of take up the whole bottom of the bowl. <laughs> so maybe I need a smaller bowl? Mm. I don't know. I think I have to, oh, I'm going to have to get one of those dedicated slow feeding bowls because, yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. So the other idea was, yeah, I'd go and use the um, um, um Uh, yeah, well, the other idea I had was, yeah, I just put the chicken in there and see if you, you know, the, maybe the food needs to be better for him to try to fish it out with the, the golf balls. But he seems to be going for the... So unfortunately, since I'm sitting here, I can't tell if he ate it all or not. There wasn't that much in that bowl. Um, and he ate it pretty fast. That's part of the problem, right? And it's all dry. I didn't put any water in, in this. So he's definitely eyeing the other bowl. And they've had the water bowl behind the chair. Uh, I can't tell if he's actually drinking or just sitting. I'm, I'll assume he's drinking. Can't get a better angle. Nope. Sorry, folks. I have no idea if he's actually drinking. I think he is, but so I'll let him finish drinking. So yeah, he's been so skittish. Also, 
these past few days. So when I bring out the water and when I go out there and he eats, he's you know, basically trying to get away and he never has enough confidence to go for the water afterwards so he hasn't been drinking. So I also wonder maybe if the vomiting is um, doing that. So I'm, yeah, really disappointed here. The uh, silver mine's not doing anything. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so it looks like I'm kind of stuck with three golf balls. <sighs> okay, so I'm... Okay, so my plan now is I'm going to go out, sit in the chair, put the ball in normal position. I'll try using the purple one, see if I can entice them with the silver vine that I put on it. Um, undecided if I'm going to try to stroke them or not. So we'll play that by ear. But let me have him, let me let him finish drinking and then I'll go. How is it that this cat is immune to both catnip and silver vine? That's that is not fair. It's not fair at all. So I start with the Pet Links version because that was the one I've read about. That's the one people seem to have the most confidence in. Uh, the Meowana probably next in reliability. So the Smarty, Smarty Cat from Target is the cheapest. So maybe I'll open that one next. And then if that doesn't work, maybe I'll just return the, the, the Meowana because uh, that was 10 bucks. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Okay, Scruffy, I'm going to give you the rest of the food. Okay, Scruffy. Here I come. And see, you just passed right over the, the wand. And so you can see that, yeah, he did eat everything. So I'm going to take one of these balls and put it in the food. So there's more food in this one, so it will be a bigger obstacle for him. And let's do that. And so you can see there was a little bit of uh, 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 this stuff on the corner. So he is run again. So I don't know where to. So he might be long gone this time. So I know he wants the food. Looked like he was gonna throw it up. So yeah, he just doesn't like me. Oh, is that him? I can't tell. Is that, is that Scruffy? I think that's Scruffy. So yeah, that's Scruffy. Yep, that's Scruffy. So yeah, he's hiding from me again. Doesn't want uh, to get near me. So uh, I'm gonna. Oh wait, here he comes. Okay, so oh, he's back. 
and Scruffy. I'm gonna play with the uh, scrubber. There's catnip or uh, silver vine on it. Should be good, you know. Yeah, it's food. It's good stuff. There's chicken in there. So I don't have I don't have the brush. You can just go eat. I think there's actually a little bit too much quantity in that, especially yeah, since I added the chicken, but since he threw up today, yeah, I won't worry about it. But yeah, I gotta get better with the measurements. Okay, so there you go, Scruffy. That's how you do it. Okay, so I am going to risk going for the brush. I'm gonna scare him. Scruffy. Scruffy. With the brush. Yeah, that scared him. But chicken's good, so. With the brush. So I'm. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna take the brush back here. So I got the pouch of silver vine with me. I'm gonna try a little bit more. Just out of desperation. So I'm going to. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit in front of the. there. He's going, what the hell are you doing? And then I'm going to put a little more on the brush. And for good measure, I'm going to sprinkle a little more in front on the deck here. So there's, yeah, a little bit of Smarty Vine catnip. So he's. I mean, it's progress that he's at least come out to the corner, so. We're gonna be here a while, though. Maybe. I thought he was gonna go for a move there. Hey, Scruffy. Don't you like the silver vine? Yeah, silver vine. Silver vine. Mm -hmm. I didn't move. I'm slowly moving now. And some silver vine.
Okay, I'm going to go in for the brush. With the brush. Okay, so I mean, this one's really soft. It's not even going to kill them. So if he's mad, if it's a mad it type problem, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, see, I think he's just skittish. He doesn't like being touched. Okay, I'm gonna take it away. I think there's, there's, I gotta rebuild a, more trust with him. I think with the food, because yeah, we got brand new food, we got golf balls. Silver mine's not working. That's why I want to have four in there. Because, yeah, there's a lot of space. I could try those other balls, though. I could take you know, two golf balls and one of the bigger squishy balls. Uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll go in with the, the brush again, but... Okay, you ate all the food. It wasn't me. Well, that was disappointing. I was really hoping to get some reaction from the silver vine. So catnip doesn't work, and I don't think the silver vine's working either. So I don't know what's to try. I know there's something called valerian, and then I think lavender, but none of these things I think really invoke strong reactions, though. It might be worth to try. It's supposed to be calming, I think. So, yeah, he's definitely so skittish that you know we really do need to calm him. But I think I'll order those online if I do. So now the major thing is to see if he throws up. He's holding out the brush. Brush. And some silver vine. So it doesn't even face me. No, I think that's actually pretty typical. <laughs> So scruffy. You feeling better? Feeling better about me? Still gonna give me the evil eye? Still gonna try to avoid me? I 
with the brush with a silver vine on it and catnip. Yeah, you might be a lost cause, Scruffy. You'll never be able to win your trust. And you're gonna keep throwing up. Oh, why are you coming back? I was looking for food. Look in the bowl, maybe. So yeah, my psyops thing, I don't think it's working. But yeah, like I said, he's mad today. I didn't move. That was him. So I think I need to keep watching him for a little while and make sure he doesn't throw up. So we're going into extra innings here. Um, but so far he seems fine. Of course, with the first two times he threw up, I didn't see it. So I'm not sure how long it took him to throw up the food. But today, definitely, yeah, he was not doing well. Uh, he really hated that brush. So, yeah, I might, I think with this I might try um, replacing one of the golf balls with one of the bigger squishy balls, or maybe even two of the bigger squishy balls, and see how he does with that, because yeah, I think it's not slowing him down enough. I think I will order the, the slow feeder bowl, but it's probably going to take a few weeks to get here after I place the orders. I don't have Amazon Prime, so everything takes forever. So they tend to hold it for about two weeks, and then they ship it. Um, you know, like this. If you want it faster, that's what you pay for Amazon Prime for. Okay, let's see. So I liked uh, Walmart and Target, particularly Target. Uh, Walmart's pretty good, though, too, in the sense that if you order online, they don't play that game where they hold it for like two weeks or whatever to ship it. They just ship it out. Um, I'm a little worried about that new Walmart Plus or whatever they call it um, because I think it's basically creating an incentive for them to do the same thing that Amazon does and delay shipping. So that that's one reason I do like ordering from Walmart and Target. They don't play the shipping game, but you still can get free shipping if you meet their minimum thresholds. Um, and... Um, and uh, Target, Pitchicore has been really good to me. Um, their shipping seems to be a little faster um, than uh, Walmart, just just for me, for in my personal antidotal experience. Um, though I was, during the beginning of the lockdowns, uh, unfortunately I was not stockpiled with uh, food. Uh, long story, but basically, yeah, I was... I didn't have enough food on hand, so I was desperately trying to find food, you know, canned food or whatever. Uh, everything here was, you know, out, out of stock, uh, you know, the shelves were empty. And so Target was one of the few places that had uh, food I could order online, uh, canned food. And so I ordered a bunch of food. The problem was that uh, they did not pack the food well, so the food basically uh, arrived majorly dented. I mean, these cans were just, they weren't pierced, but man, they were just dented all over. I mean, they were, they were not sellable. I mean, they were just, um, it was just, they were just a disaster. And I ordered a whole bunch of food and multiple shipments and every shipment, I'd say over half the cans were damaged. Um, in, many, in some cases, all the cans were damaged. Uh, to Target's credit, uh, 
basically, uh, you know, they have an online forum and I just, you know, I took pictures and I uploaded them and, you know, I kept telling them, look, yeah, you're not packing these correctly. The cans are just getting like trashed, you know, in shipping. Um, this is really bad because, you know, you, you know, this is how botulism and stuff grows. So you can't, you know, can't eat the cans. Um, and so Target, they pretty much no questions asked. They just, you know, refunded me and either gave me the option. So they give you one. The, so the first time it happens for a shipment, they say you can request a second shipment and they'll just send you the stuff again or they'll give you a refund. So I kept asking for more shipments because I wanted everyone really to the food. And uh, unfortunately, they just kept coming damaged. And, I had to get, and then the second time, you basically have to get a refund and they have to reorder. And so I was doing this for several months. Um, usually a couple cans would get through and then, you know, I'd have to send back the, or, well, I don't even send back the rest. So they basically believed me and then they just said, okay, dispose of the cans. Um, so to the credit, yeah, they were really good. But, yeah, I wrote, I, I left them long messages and the customer service feedback thing saying, look, you know, I really appreciate you, you know, taking my word and, you know, sending me more cans or giving me a refund without like any hassle. But yeah, you really need to fix your shipping process because this is costing you money. Uh, this is just, and it's wasting food. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, really unfortunate. And so at a certain point, you know, I, just, I was losing so many cans and I felt so bad about just wasting their money. I just stopped buying cans and, okay, things are starting to get a little bit better. Things are starting to appear in the store. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not just going to buy, buy canned food from you guys through shipping. Um, I'll, if I do it, I'll do it, uh, pick up at the counter. Um, at, at the time, it wasn't an option. Uh, they just, I, I think, yeah, for some reason, in some cases, yeah, the particular things I'd order. Oh, no, and actually, maybe you could ship it to the store, but yeah, it was like, well, they'd still have to ship it from somewhere, so why ship it to the store and just ship it to me? Because, you know, why, why, why do you think it's going to get to the store any safer than to me? <laughs> so, but yeah, anyway, so. But uh, yeah, overall though, yeah, I have a good impression of Target and Walmart. Yeah, they actually packed their stuff much better. So um, I had very few problems with Walmart. Though I ordered a uh, apple cider vinegar, and that was in a glass bottle, and the delivery person tossed it on the ground, and it shattered the bottle. Um, I you know, I I heard them arrive. So you know, right as they were you know leaving, you know, I, I was getting the box, and already I saw a pool of liquid pouring out of the box and I could smell the vinegar and it was um, yeah really unfortunate so yeah um, fortunately Walmart didn't make me ship that you know broken mess of glass back and they believed me and I got another shipment of it but um, uh, but yeah I think that was like the only problem I had with Walmart and then Amazon in general has been you know they're they're good at shipping they, just, you know, they wait that two weeks for free shipping, so that's the only annoying part. Though I have bought ref uh, refurbished or used, like, not, not quite new stuff, so basically stuff that was returned, and they have, like, you know, excellent, good, you know, like, um, and then, like, okay conditions or whatever, and you can pick if, you know, depending if they have availability. Sometimes they like, get really good stuff and get a really good discount. Other times... Yeah, it's not like it's not even like as described. It's like so screwed up. It's like you know, damaged and whatever. Um, I think I've had two that were like damaged. Well, Scruffy's getting comfortable, so he's not, I guess, pissed off at me anymore. At least not as much as today or earlier today. So I don't think he's gonna throw up. So. Still very, very sad about the silver line. I might try one, the other two bottles in the tomorrow or tomorrow night and in the following night. I don't think I want to do it in a day. Um, I'm going to do it when it's a little more react, relaxed. So you might be watching the TV now. So, so I'm going to. I guess call it a night, so I think Scruffy's a little bit happier. Uh, hopefully we've repaired a little bit of the uh, damage to our relationship tonight with uh, the new meal. I'm still going to have to play with the golf balls. Um, I guess we'll see those in subsequent videos to figure out what the 
the optimal thing is, but yeah, I think in the long term, in a few weeks, we're going to get a new slow feeder bowl. <laughs> uh, boy, this cat. So picky for a feral. So I'm going to put the brush down. This might startle him. Okay, Scruffy. So yeah, I'm putting it down. See, it's on the ground. I'm not a threat. Just that annoying human that gives you food. You know, ingrateful furball. So right now the video is there. There's a feral cat that a woman's trying to befriend, and she's trying to teach it how to use a string toy. Oh man, that cat actually likes it. So, so I don't know. Maybe he's learning something. So if the silver vine worked, I'd put it on the string toy again, but it doesn't work. Okay, so I am gonna call it a call it a day here. Okay, well, thanks everyone for joining us, and uh, let's hope that things don't get any worse and they improve. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.